a lady named Donna just recently um, put out a call for anyone who would like to photograph her new product, which was an organizer. And of course, you know me, photographer and organizer and stationery addict, I put up my hand. She had a look at my content and said, okay, I'll send it to you. So, um, I thought I would unbox it here with you. All I've done is taken it out of the Australia Post bag. Uh, so it's come in the bubble wrap and it looks pretty protected. It's a really lovely um, wood grain kind of finish. Uh, and we're in a little plastic sleeve. So let me take that out. So it's called the Adulting Life Organizer. Um, and I've just taken some notes here on the side for um, about the organizer um, it says you can finally take control of your life for students individuals families bookkeepers accountants anyone who likes to be organized so um, her name is Donna she is a bookkeeper herself has been for more than 20 years and she has come out with this um, ultimate tool for organizing essential life documents now I've often thought about um, having somewhere to put all my bits and pieces and you know I'm a planner girl so I do have a whole bunch of places uh, to put things but um, not in one one simple place so um, I thought I would take you through it it's kind of um, what wasn't part of the plan was um, I was just supposed to photograph it and send her the shots but she said would you like to keep it and so I thought well why don't I unbox it for you and share it with my with you guys so we can all kind of see it together and see what we all think so this is my first look at it I really haven't had a look at all until now um, it says thank you for choosing the adulting life we all know keeping records is important as well as keeping them up to date and in an organized format and this is the adulting life way your adulting life organizer is set up and ready to go. Simply collect the documents as listed on the checklist index page of each section and she's even printed this list for us. She suggests photocopying the original. You may be asked to provide a copy in the future so why not be prepared now and store the original document and the photocopy in the applicable sections. You might not like to hole punch original document. In this case uh, she likes to use a plastic sleeve. Uh, there is a Facebook group um, which I have joined um, and there is her email address there as well. So I'll just zoom in on all of that for you so you can have a quick look. And of course I'll put the contact details and Facebook uh, link in the description box for you. So um, I'm just going to walk through everything because as I said you're seeing it for the first time with me. I mean I'm seeing it for the first time with you I should say. Um, so here is her printable and fillable checklist. So all of these different documents for personal information such as birth certificates, marriage certificates, passport, will and for funeral instructions, etc. etc. Copies of licenses, then a health and well-being section including prescriptions, Medicare card, etc. Uh, meal planning and shopping list, health fund statements, education, so course and enrollment forms, uh, your certificates, etc for your various uh, education uh, employment information your cover letters resumes it's a really good idea actually to keep your resume up to date even if you're not looking for work I think it's really important to keep track of what skills you've gained you know the kinds of things that you've become good at that you may not have realized that you were good at or that you may not think <laughs> sorry for the traffic guys <laughs> it's a hot day today so I've left the window open um, Right. Yeah, you may not uh, realize right now that something that you're good at is going to be important to you for the future if you want to look for a different job or something pops up that could, you know, be a potential opportunity for you. It's good to be prepared and have that kind of information stored away. And I do have um, a pretty hefty little career section in one of my planners. So, um, okay, so group certificates and things. And then this last section on this page is for administration and bookkeeping, so bank statements, superannuation statements, loan, home insurance, electricity, gas, etc. So a lot of this stuff I do get electronically these days and not printed. Uh, so I guess you can store things electronically, but I don't. I just leave them all in my email and then I've got to go search for them. I just this morning I realized that my, my water bill 
is no longer direct debited since I've moved to the new place. And so I remembered getting a bill for it and I had totally forgotten about it. So I had to go searching through my phone to try and find it. And it's $45, it's not that dramatic, but um, luckily it's not due until the 2nd of December. So it might be useful for me to print those things out because otherwise I've got to keep searching my phone. I know there are electronic ways of storing things in Evernote or other apps and things like that, but you know me, I'm a paper girl, uh, so I think maybe this could be quite useful for that kind of thing in particular. All right, let's flip to the next page. I'm dying to get into the actual binder itself, but I think it's important to have a look at all these bits and pieces. So, okay, so this is a general information page um, for you to fill out uh, with your name and address, passport number, Medicare number, um, your parents' details, business information, emergency and medical information, and others. Oh, so there's a couple of these. So if you and your partner or your kids or whoever wanted to fill this out, they could do so. And this one has uh, for a child, um, and it does also have emergency and medical information at the bottom there. And she's given you a couple of those, so that's quite handy. All right, next up is this sheet of personal accounts and passwords, social media and gaming, for example. So account name, username, password, PIN, web address, security question, payment method and notes. Don't know how I feel about keeping passwords. Um, I have them on my phone, but I don't have them as passwords. I have them as a little hint to the password. So yeah, I, I don't write them down personally, but I could write the hint here if I wanted to. We have family medical advisors, so your doctor, dentist, pharmacist, uh, etc., specialists, all those kinds of things. A list of medications for each family member. So you could just, photo if you've got multiple people in your family, you can just photocopy this sheet, of course. Uh, course and enrollment details. So this is kind of working off that first front sheet, um, just spreading it out into uh, the checklist, spreading that out into all the separate sheets. And then this one is an employee information form. So you've got your uh, bank details, superannuation details, the employment agreement, emergency medical, and termination information. We've got a list of bank accounts here and advisors. Oh, I skipped a page. Um, one for your vehicle as well, all the information about your vehicle. And then a I mean, I live in the centre of Melbourne. <laughs> These people are crazy. <laughs> um, an accident information report as well, which that's quite useful. So maybe you get home from an accident and you want to take down all the details and have those with you. And there actually is a part here for you to remove and give to the other person who might have been involved in the accident. So that's a pretty cool idea. So that's all the bits and pieces that came in that front uh, sheet. Let's dive into the organizer itself. Oh, oh, first, we'll have a look at what's come with it. She has given us this little business card with her details in the back, a phone number, email, and the Facebook business page. Plus, there is a Facebook group as well. And a little uh, sticker, a little circle sticker you can see there. And it says adulting like a boss, and it's the adultingandlife.com.au. So there is a website as well. All right, I think I'll zoom us out a little so we can see this in all of its glory. So the first section, um, and I will show you that it is color coded. Oh, that feels nice. Um, okay, so color coded. Our first section, it says personal information here and it's purple. I'm assuming all the personal information is purple. We'll see. Uh, general information form, birth certificates, etc. You can see all those things there. Hopefully you can see that. And then there's tabs down the side. Now this is um, a very nice uh, laminated card. So inside here is where you would store your general information, birth certificates, marriage certificate, passport, will and funeral instructions, power of attorney, health care card, electoral roll, tax file number and ABN and then personal accounts and passwords, licenses, vehicle registration, home and property, rates, rent and other important documents. I actually just found my rental agreement just sitting in a drawer uh, earlier today because I was gathering some bits and pieces to um, 
I'm saying I'm going to photograph this for some photographs for her website. So <laughs> it's just sitting in the drawer. It would be very handy to put it somewhere useful, wouldn't it? Alright, then we have our health and well-being section in this brilliant, vibrant yellow. So list of medical advisors, copy of Medicare card, copy of other health cards, scripts and referrals. Uh, health fund statements, meal planning and shopping lists, and other health information. And then we move to this, oh, this lovely teal section called education folder. So course and enrollment details form, copy of enrollment, secondary tertiary course storage. And then we move to red for employment, employee information cover letter, resume, employee contracts and pay slips as well as copy of the group certificates and anything else. And then our green section for administration and bookkeeping. So your bank accounts, statements, investments, superannuation, loan statements. I like how green is about money. <laughs> uh, home insurance, vehicle insurance, telephone and device contracts, electricity and gas, rates and water. I feel like this is probably the biggest section. Uh, rental agreements, invoices, July, August, September, October, oh, so all the months, November through March, and April through June. So you could store your entire year in there and then I guess keep adding to it as time goes on. And you can see it's just one of the old fashioned uh, three ring binders, uh, which you can get inserts for from anywhere, Office Works, uh, any kind of office supply store. And the nice thing is that these clear dividers, which you can, uh, clear sheet protectors, sorry, you can buy from anywhere for very cheap, um, fit in there very easily as well because they're multi-hole punched. So that's that. That's the adulting organizer, the adulting life organizer. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, I think Donna's done a great job of putting this together. I've not met Donna um, and I am being paid to photograph the organizer but um, she didn't ask me to do, to do the video and review um, I just decided to do that for you guys and if she uses it then that's lovely <laughs> but she doesn't have to of course um, I think it's a pretty cool idea um, I know other places have similar things like Kiki K has a organizer but it hasn't gone into the depth of helping you sort of choose uh, decide what to put in there and I think the amount of effort that's gone into creating all of these different categories. It may seem like a lot, but how cool is it to actually have everything in the right place and so easy to find? This could just sit on your bookshelf. If you like me, it'll sit with all the planners <laughs> and um, would have all your bits and pieces in it. And so that everything is easy to find should the time come that you need to find those things. So I think that's pretty cool. I'd love to hear your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I am lucky enough to be able to keep this, uh, so technically it is a, a little product placement here on my channel, but um, I'm quite excited to try it out and see how it works. Um, whether I go back and find things to put in here or I just start collecting from now, um, I'll decide. I haven't fully unpacked since moving in, um, I think it's been nearly four months now, um, and I still have uh, all of the paperwork stuff, this kind of stuff. Um, I had an old chest of drawers uh, that I haven't been able to fit into the apartment so I've put it in my storage cage and I've shoved all this stuff in there. So I don't really have access to it. I mean I can go down to the storage cage but who wants to do that at 10 o'clock at night when you realise you suddenly need a bank statement for some application that you're doing. So um, it might be a good idea for me maybe in the new year when I've got a few days off before work to organise all that stuff and put it into here. Okay, that's it for me. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think. It's different to my usual plannery stuff, um, but rest assured that stuff is coming very, very soon. And I will see you all then. Thanks, guys. See you super, super soon. Bye.